Hey, this is Terry Toots with a quick tutorial on using depth of field in Terrigen. Depth of field is the area in front of a camera that is in focus in the image. Terrigen can simulate this effect, and it can add a lot of realism to your scene and draw attention to the main subjects of an image. For example, look at the difference that depth of field makes in this rendering of a flower in front of a field of grass. To explore how depth of field works in Terrigen, we'll be using the scene I've prepared with the camera looking down a row of board objects. For reference, here's what the image looks like with no depth of field applied. To activate depth of field, we'll need to go to the Render tab and check the Depth of Field box. Now, we can click the Depth of Field Preview button above the 3D pane. This creates a transparent plane slicing through the image, which shows the point in the image where the camera is focusing. Things in orange are behind the plane, beyond the focus point. Next, come to the Camera tab, and then to the Blur tab in the left panel. This is where we'll control the camera focus. The controls are simple, but it can take some trial and error to get exactly the look you want. First off is the Focus Distance. This simply moves the focus point forward and backwards. And we can see the orange plane move accordingly. A useful tip here is to use the View 3D Preview Location window here to see the distance from the camera to your mouse cursor in the image for exact positioning. The other control is the Aperture Diameter. Basically, a larger aperture will make the background more blurry. For example, let's focus on these near boards and set the aperture to 5. Then compare that with the effect we get with the aperture set to 10. The background is much blurrier. The last thing we'll cover is how to blur the foreground but not the background. For this, we can move the focal distance farther out and use a smaller aperture value. I've seen this used very effectively in Terrigen for shots where your models aren't detailed enough to support a close-up view, but look more realistic when they're blurred. It can also just be a nice artistic effect.